baby. Egan does not like the the setup. He does not like the base. Actually, that's what we're gonna talk about right now. Actually, what's up, everyone? My name is BK, and this is Subnautica episode five. So, um, so if I didn't mention it in the last in the last game, uh, we I have a new uh, layout on my on my channel now. Like this this stuff, it looks really cool, and I love the way it looks. But it's pink, and I'm not a big fan of pink, but. It's honestly like the coolest one that I can find for now, so I'll probably change it in the future. But I'm gonna use this from now on. If you, if someone out there doesn't like it, leave me like my first or second or third comment ever and say, hey, I don't like the pink, and then you know maybe I'll change it if you give me a viable reason. Now that's one thing that I don't like, and Egan doesn't like that either. But the other thing that I don't like and that Egan doesn't like either, Egan's my son, um, is this. Um, last episode. I, I made these ultra glide, glide fins and the, high, the ultra high capacity uh, O2 tank and I went to this little base that was underneath us there and honestly uh, it was very underwhelming so I need to build I need to build a new base and it can't be here because there's there's not a lot of stuff over here for me personally um, I just I just don't really like it over here so We're going to dismantle this base. I don't know if I can actually dismantle the entire base, but we're going to get some rid of some things that we don't need, unfortunately, and we're going to we're going to tear this base up, guys. Ah. <sighs> Alright, so I think what I'm going to do is, uh, since this area is so open, uh, especially like right off the ledge here, it's kind of like a, kind of like a cool area, I think, so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to build this base that I have in mind right here. Reason being, um, is because I feel that... I need more titanium. Uh, okay. Reason being is that I feel that um, with the depth there, I'd be able to swim my my sea moth in uh, uh, underneath pretty easily, and then I can also get to the deeper parts of the ocean with uh, the deeper parts of the ocean with um, my cyclops. It's just it's really it's pretty deep right here, so I have a lot of moving around area. I have like a lot of room to move up and down and whatnot, so. Uh, that definitely makes it like really kind of nice and easy, if that makes sense. Oh crap! Please don't shoot me. Oh, yeah, you are gonna shoot me, aren't you? You're a dick. Yeah, so I'll put my moon pool like right off, right off the side over here, and uh, it's gonna be good. Oh yeah, one thing that too is that like we're only 80 meters down, so. Our uh, solar panels here will get a lot, like a lot more light, a lot faster. So, okay, more titanium, more titanium. Warning: emergency power only. Oxygen production offline. And we will just pour. And let's just throw this right here. And let's name it too. BK's base. It'll be base right now. It's not going to be bab right this second because yeah. So, so now, now if you look, BK's ba base. Now no matter where I go, I can find my beacon. Cool, 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 right? Medical kit fabricator. Okay, so with our base built and whatnot, uh, I guess we can listen to this radio message here quickly. This is a distress signal received. Rescue operation will be dispatched to your location in nine, 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 nine hours. Continue to monitor. 
monitor for emergency transmissions from other life pods. Alright, so now with our base uh, partially built, I guess we need a little more glass. One, two, three, three more glass. But um, that being said, we're I think we're pretty much ready to look for the parts so we can build our moon pool. Um, so, here's my seat ball. Moon pool's gonna go right on the end there anyways, because uh, it's just kind of <laughs> on a cliff-esque kind of thing, so. We'll be able to... 100 meters. Dri Oxygen efficiency decreased. So we'll be able to uh, drive all of our stuff up right up to our base. Basically. And it'll be pretty cool. So... Welcome aboard, Captain. I believe our... Mushroom Force is directly west. So yeah, okay, this is the beginning of uh, the Mushroom Force here. And this is where we will find things such as... Um, our moon pool, I believe. Yeah, our moon pool and our cyclops stuff. So there's some cyclops stuff right there. Uh, a little earlier, while I was uh, moving my base, I I managed to pick up the cyclops engine stuff, which is pretty nice. Oh, I guess I did. Alright, got the moon pool thing, so that is always just fantastic. Uh, what am I going to need to build the moon pool? Lubricant, two lead, two titanium ingots. It's not that bad, actually. To finish the bridge, I need one more bridge, and then that'll be the Cyclops. So that's kind of cool. Let's just uh, keep looking for the bridge. It's a little harder now because it's nighttime, but I uh, got a little bit of uh, perseverance. Okay, I'm having so much trouble finding the last part for the Cyclops bridge, but I came across this. Uh, this right here, so let's go get this PDA. And there's nothing else inside. Anything else on the other side? Cyclops Bridge? Nope. Okay. Keep looking for the Cyclops, uh, Cyclops Bridge fragment. Here we go, okay, Cyclops Bridge Fragment. Is that the Cyclops? Yep. Wicked, okay. So let's head back to, oh, darn, oh, jeez, okay. Let's get out of here. Go back to base. So, we got the, uh, you know what? Save. Yeah, right there though, we got a Cyclops Hall Blueprint Bridge. So what do we need to build uh, this? Plastis, plastil ingot, enameled glass, lubricant, lead, and an advanced wiring kit. To make an advanced wiring kit, we need... <sighs> and we will build our moon pool. Right. Uh, uh, choppy. Lubricant. Oh, and one more titanium ingot. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. 
perfect. Alright, cool. So we got our moon pool. Uh, so the moon pool. Let's swim right up there. Swim up. Oh. Pretty cool, yes? What? Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, so. Lithium, After titanium. Weeks without human contact, it is normal to experience uh. psychological discomfort. Research indicates symptoms may be partly alleviated by adopting a pet or anthropomorphizing an inanimate object. Okay, so we're gonna come back in here. Uh, we're gonna go downstairs for a second, and these things. We have to build reinforcements. There we go. This will make my base strong again. And total now 3.5. Okay, so let's repair all this stuff. We gotta repair it all. Stupid thing. Back upstairs. Integrity restored. Draining systems initiated. So it is draining. Okay, my base is draining now. Okay, so we got our moon pool built now. Um, access upgrades, so we need to put some upgrades in here. Uh, all right, so now that all the water is drained out, we um, we got our moon pool. Um, this is pretty cool. One thing that we're gonna need though is. Uh, you know what, we just, I wouldn't mind getting a couple more reinforcements down here just to increase the integrity of the base. So, here we go. 10.5. So I'm just a little bit out of uh, titanium. Oh well. That's okay for right now. Um... Cool. So next order of business is going to be uh, get this, use this, and listen to the radio again. Plan pre-recorded distress call. This is Ozzy from the cafeteria. What the hell, guys? They didn't warn us this might happen. Our pod was almost crushed by the Seamoth Bay on the way down. Now we're hanging on the edge of a cave system, and this grim-looking snake thing's trying to eat through the hull. Come get us already. Signal location uploaded to PDA. All right, cool. So we got to go to that place. But first, I want to find Seamoth Upgrade Station. Ah, fantastic. 
it's pretty easy so this wreck right here some of these wrecks they have these things called data boxes inside of them you might have seen me pick some up or not might have if you've been following this entire uh, series you have seen me pick them up so there's these data boxes inside these inside these wrecks and they have little blueprints for all of us inside of them so um, but we just have to find the data boxes and open them up Oh, that's right where we were, okay. New blueprint acquired. On. Yes, okay, got the vehicle upgrade console. So, I think it's pretty much time to get out of here. We have our vehicle upgrade station, so let's go find out what we need to build it, and then we're going to go build it. And we also have two uh, distress signals over there, so we're going to go check both of those things out. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thanks, good to be here. Alright, laser cutter. Here we go. Um, computer chip and copper wire. That's not bad. Okay. Um, Copper and computer chip. Uh, I don't need any of that stuff. Computer chip, uh, gold, copper wire. Okay, so I'm gonna need two copper wires. So I need more copper. Okay, so more copper wire. Uh, table coral sample, gold. I got gold. So so one more, one more copper. No, three more copper. Three more copper. Two table coral sample. One more co copper, three table coral sample. All right, anything in here? Oh. Okay, let's go. Pretty sure I don't need that stupid thing. Whoa. Copper. Copper. Well. 
not today. All right, copper wire. Computer chip. And then another copper wire. And now... Perfect. This is life pod six. I have a passenger on board. Coordinates attached. We've landed a kilometer from the crash site, but there's radiation in between us and the rendezvous. Request immediate assistance. Six out. Signal coordinates corrupted. Approximate transmission origin recorded to okay. data bank. Right. Yeah, thank you. Okay, uh, Seamoth modules. Okay, depth glass and titanium ingot. Glass and titanium ingot. Perimeter defense. Uh, polyaniline. <laughs> uh, polyaniline and wiring kit. Seamoth solar charger. Recharges the Seamoth's power cell while in the sunlight. I I'm not too concerned about that at the current moment. Um, all reinforcement, yes. But typically, depth module. Titanium ingot and glass. Okay. Let's go make it. Two glass. All right, two glass is what I need. Depth module. Okay, what else is here? Uh, why are we getting? Okay. Titanium, lithium, four diamonds. <whistles> Alright, I'll get that stuff. Maybe not right at this very moment, but I will get it. Access upgrades. Uh, Seamoth depth module kit. Okay. Oh. I want to check something out quickly here. Uh. Oh no. Okay, I, uh, that's okay for right now. I don't think it's going to let me go to 900 meters right now. I'll have to keep upgrading it, but... Let's see how far down I can go in it now. 300. Ah. That's okay. It's not bad. I'm going to have to upgrade it, though. So, number five... Computer chip, diamond, lead. Okay, we're gonna get all that. We're gonna go and get all that stuff, and then we're gonna come back once we have all that stuff. And what? Where does it want me to go? It gave me two places. Okay, and we still gotta check out the Aurora as well. Okay. Um, computer chip, diamond, and lead. Diamond and lead. Got lead. I just need computer chip, diamond, lead. Computer chip. Gold, copper, table coral. Gold, copper, wire. I have gold. Okay. Alright. Gold. Copper. Let's see. Sorry, sorry. I'm just thinking here. Um, computer chip, table coral sample, copper wire, need more copper, uh, table coral sample, boom, chip, okay, copper wire, so I need copper, copper, <sighs> 
Copper and diamond. Okay, let's go get that stuff. Oh, to the sea moth. Whoops, okay. So, so sufficient. Yeah, uh, I think we got some really good stuff here. All right. Um, what? Do, oh yeah. Um, okay, I picked up some stuff, so we can make this all reinforcements. All right. Unclick that. All reinforcements. So the hull reinforcement um, uh, preemptively hardens the chassis before collision, eliminating damage under uh, normal conditions. So, there we go. Now, what I wanted to do was... Quickly and efficiently... Oh, the computer chip. Oh, here we go. Okay, uh, computer chip. Awesome, awesome. Sea moth upgrades. Plasteel ingot, uh, magnetite, and enameled glass. Holy crap, okay. Well, I don't know where I'm gonna get Ruby from. I'm not too sure where I'm gonna get any of that stuff from, really, but. <sighs> but we are making headway. So, if I wanted to increase this just a little bit, I need plasteel ingot, magnetite. An enameled glass. I think I know how to make enameled glass. So enameled glass is oh. okay. Oh. I priority automated message from Aurora Live Pod 13 coordinates attached. Live Pod is carrying high priority passenger. Yoki Kasa. I said, Kassa, why do I have to record this anyway? Send immediate burial detail. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Name interior will be a blue, and stripe will be blue. Sea moth. BK moth. Done. Name will be yellow. Ah, BK moth. Oh. Whoops. Alrighty. Wait, why is it kind of green? I don't want green. Ugh. Not green, blue. Done. Perfect. systems online so um we are in the grassy plateaus kind of i think if i were to go a little bit north here am i gonna hit the mushroom force a little bit north yes i i most definitely am so there's some stuff called uh let's see a deep shroom and the deep shroom is where I'm actually going to get my, um, apparently the deep shroom is where you, you, you can get the poly, poly, uh, lean stuff. Oh. Oh, look at that stupid thing. Ha! Ah, okay, here we go. So, if we pick up this stuff... Blueprint. New blueprint. 
required. Whoa. No. Get off. Get off my sea moth. We need a. Uh, what is this guy? What is this one right here? Oh. Hydrochloric acid and. Gold. can definitely dig that so boom perimeter defense system and magnetite okay yeah I'm not quite ready for that part right, right there just yet oh well that's cool So pretty. Well, we're gonna surround everything. Whoa. Yeah, we're gonna surround the entire moon pool in, in the glass. There's only four panels you can put it on, but uh, then we're gonna finish doing up here in glass. Uh, so that way, in our base, we can always look around. The only thing down here is our bioreactor, so we only have to come down here to put, uh, you know, the, the materials in. So. This, that's why I kind of stack them up, uh, and that's the building of our, or the beginning of our bab. Anyways, everyone, I'm going to call it an episode right after we read this radio message. Or should I? Cliffhanger. For next time. Uh, but yeah, we're going to call it an episode here for today, and uh, yeah, we got our moon pool. We got our vehicle upgrade station. And, oh, I'll show you one thing, because we were working towards on this episode, so this is the perimeter defense system right here. All systems online. Oh yeah, pretty cool, right? The next thing will probably be torpedoes, but we'll we'll cross we'll cross that in a while though. Right now, we're still trying to just get this everything rocking and rolling. Maybe Cyclops next episode, or the Aurora, or those three bases over there. Wow, this is a long game. This is a big game. It's a good game. And it's not totally expensive. So, uh, yeah, everyone, thanks for checking out my episode. And uh, I'll see you guys all in the next one. All right, Casey, okay, yeah.